Brunei Darussalam is a small country located in a strategic position in Southeast Asia. It is located in proximity to major markets such as China, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore and more. Brunei is a kingdom-based monarchy headed by a sultan who also holds the country's executive power. Very similar to many Middle Eastern countries, Brunei economy is based on oil and natural gas which accounts for 90% of its $30 billion GDP. Brunei is placed in 131st rank on GDP. However, it is one of the highest in terms of per capita income. It ranks as fifth position in per capita income just below Singapore. This shows that Brunei is a high income country and also maintain one of the lowest debt to GDP ratio of just 2.58%. This economic powerhouse in Southeast Asia is yet to achieve its full potential and government of Brunei understand this. Similar to Middle Eastern countries strategic shift from oil income to service based income, Brunei has planned to diversify and modernize the country for the future. This is to prepare it for the modern high tech economy. Thus the kingdom released an ambition plan for the future. Brunei Dar es Salaam Vision 2035 this vision includes multiple plans that are integrated to develop and modernize the country and the capital city, Banda Sri Bhagawan. One of the keystone of this vision is Digital Economic Master Plan. The idea is to convert Brunei into a major service and technology hub in Southeast Asia and to diversify from the oil economy. The master plan listed 17 projects that are expected to be implemented in the next five years. Some of the key focus areas are energy, business and financial services, education, logistics and more. The underlying concept that will enable transformation in this area is digitalization and converting the nation into a smart nation. Brunei Dar es Salaam has also launched a number of reform in recent years aimed at attracting new foreign direct investment, supporting diversification into high-tech agriculture and manufacturing industries. One of the major projects of this plan is to enhance connectivity between all parts of the country. Therefore, it's constructed the longest bridge in Southeast Asia, the bridge to Temburang region. The bridge brought a landway connection to this eastern region with the mainland, bypassing four immigration checkpoints in Malaysia. A $1.6 billion investment which makes Brunei a well-connected country which will lead to industrial developments in enclaves. Brunei is also exploring opportunities to enhance cooperation with Singapore. Area of cooperation includes technology, training, education, climate. Brunei can vastly benefit from a strong digital partnership with the powerhouse such as Singapore in the region. Though all these plans are ambitious in nature, Brunei needs to do four important things to develop itself into a modern economy. Number one, Brunei needs to enhance workforce and import skill if necessary. If anyone analyzes the growth of UAE or Singapore, they have opened the country to international workforce, which ultimately changed the country into an economic powerhouse. In UAE, expect population alone is more than 30%. At the meantime, they have protected their country's culture as well. Number 2. Modern Infrastructure Digital infrastructure need exclusive high-tech development centers. Brunei is yet to enhance its digital infrastructure and overall country's modern infrastructure. Country has to make big investment that is supported by oil money in developing ultra-modern special economic zone to attract talents from across the world. Number 3. Exploit market in the region. Brunei sits in one of the busiest regions in the world and a population center. It needs to target this market with products that address this region and also attract foreign direct investment and creation of captives for multinational companies. And finally, Brunei need to be open and bid more liberal society. This can be taken from Dubai example. Also, conservative country like Saudi Arabia is building Neom city with liberal attitude and society. Therefore, this will also act as a catalyst for highly skilled workforce to come and settle in the country and ultimately make it move forward. Therefore, in addition to the vision and investment, these structural changes in Brunei is required to make it as a Dubai of the East. Thank you.